Guten Tag, thank you so much for joining us on this episode of Press Start TV. Uh, my name is Will, with us as always, Mr. Nine. Yeah. And Dr. Joey G, thank you so much for joining us again this week. Yeah, thanks for having me, love being here. Uh, this week we're going to talk about upgradable consoles, um, Nintendo Land, and the future of gaming. So lots mm. to go over with you today. Uh, upgradable consoles, let's get into that. Uh, Phil Spencer came out not too long ago and mentioned that uh, here soon, maybe next year, during the Xbox One's life cycle, we'll be seeing some new additions to the hardware. Um, don't know exactly what or what that means, but just basically upgrading your console throughout uh, the span instead of waiting for the next installments of whatever console they're going to put out after, after the Xbox One. Um, or PS4 or Wii U, mm -hmm. uh, Nintendo NX is coming out soon, but mm -hmm. anyway, um, upgradable consoles in general. Uh, Dr. Joey G, what do you think about this? I love it. Yeah. You know, I'm going to go from the business model, business perspective here, looking at you know how can we capitalize, how can we keep increasing revenues, how can we keep making money. To me, being able to upgrade as you go during the course of your life cycle of whatever console you're playing on, I think it's great. I think it gives fans this chance, this opportunity to spend more money, number sure. one, uh, but also to stay invested and to say, hey, I, I am investing my time, my resources into something I like so much and something sure. I really care about. And I think that's fine. The consumer wants to do that. If they want to shell out the money, let them shell out the money. I think there's... Do they really want to do that? I, I mean, obviously they want to <laughs> or else Xbox, I don't think, would even try this. I mean, I'm sure. sure they've heard some kind of feedback, done sure. some testing, done some research, and they say, hey, people want upgraded something during yeah. the course of life. They don't want to wait right. eight years, 10 years to upgrade. They want to do it right now, instantly. Technology is getting so good so quickly yeah. that that's what they want to do. So I think they're just capitalizing on this opportunity. So, so I have I have some some responses to that. But Dino, I'll throw it to you first. What do you think? Um, well, uh, I've said it once. I said it again. I kind of saw it happening at some point in the future. I didn't expect it to happen with this generation of consoles. Sure, sure. Yeah. Um, I figured you know we started with the PS3 and 360 having upgradable hard drives. I kind of saw you know the same thing happening here with PS4 and Xbox One. Now, granted. Upgrading an Xbox One hard drive is a challenge, but yeah. they give you the option to use an external drive as backup space instead of tearing your entire console apart. Um, PS4 made it really easy to Pretty do. Pretty easy, yeah. Um, and, you know, I kind of saw like maybe upgradable RAM and video RAM in the future of consoles, like just a drop in chip mm -hmm. with like a locking mechanism, like a PC processor. I didn't expect new consoles every six months like Phil Spencer's talking about. <laughs> so, I mean, if that's the case of what they're going to do, am I going to get a discount if I trade in my original Xbox? Or am I going to have to shell out $400? Like if I trade this in, am I going to get $300 in credit for it? Because now it's outdated, it's old. One Xbox 1.02. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, whatever they call it. All right, we're talking about upgradable consoles. Again, you're watching and listening to Press Start TV. My name's Will. This is Nine. Yep. This is Dr. Joey G. Hey. So, um, you know, I. I'm all for it. I mean, I don't think it's a, a terrible idea, but I, I think there's, there's obstacles that have to be discussed and worked on. I mean, Absolutely. how is it going to affect, um, you know, if somebody goes out and buys a game, is it going to play more smoother? Is it going to play more uh, easier? Is it going to look better? What kind of differences are we going to see with the game itself? Is it going to affect competitive gaming or your mm -hmm. online experience? You know, um, depending on what the upgrades are, I mean, I don't, I don't know what he, what they have planned or what, what it's going to be, but right. It could change people's uh, experience, mm -hmm. and if it does that, then I think you're you're walking a very dangerous line. I think you might ostracize some of those console in terms owners. Of consoles, yes. Yeah, you don't want to do that. I mean, line. they're the people that shell out the money, and they don't want a PC, right? No. They don't want a computer. They I don't mean, want the hassle of upgrading. They yeah. want to just be able to buy the console and play the games. And that's what that's what that's a lot, why I console game. <laughs> right. That's why a lot of people do. I mean, but they can still do that. They can still, they can still do, do that. that. It's giving them a chance that. if they choose to. Now, granted, that's. But what is that upgrade going to be? Though. You know what I mean? I don't know. If I knew, I'd probably make a lot more yeah, money than I, mean, I do right now. They didn't now. go into a lot of detail about <laughs> what it was going to be. But as long as they keep it the model they're currently going with, with, which is, you know, every game that's developed for the Xbox One will work on every version of the Xbox yeah. One that comes out. So just because it's the newest game doesn't mean you have to have the newest Xbox. No, it'll still run on your original Xbox One. It may not have 60 frames per second and 1080p on mm -hmm. the original Xbox One. It might be 900p and 30 frames per second, and then you buy the new Xbox what One. What kind of get... challenges does that make for the game developer, though? Uh, Is that a whole new set of I don't think issues? it makes any challenges on the developer side. It, it, it's all hardware at that point, because even PC games, 
PC games are cutting. Well, they have, have to then make sets, sure that their game know. runs on this new hardware. All they have to do is make sure it runs on the original Xbox One. Right, right. If but it runs also on that, it's going to run, run on all of them. On, the, on yeah. all of them. Yeah. After that. I mean, it just depends on what again what the heart what we're talking about. Well, what, th their new you know unified Windows platform that they announced mm -hmm. alongside of this is kind of coinciding with that. Anything that works on Windows works on Xbox and vice versa. So supposedly okay. it's supposed to make it super easy. We'll see. Um, I don't, I'm all for extending the life cycle of a console. I mean, Amen. I, I think that um, you, you, sh you still have a life cycle for the console, by the way. I don't mind <laughs> extending it. I mean, I think that's obviously a good idea. Oh, yeah. But again, it depends on what kind of hardware upgrades we're talking about here. Um, but, you know, some people are obsessed with, I got to have the best graphics sure. and mm -hmm. the, the sure. smooth. I, I want to experience my favorite game the best way I possibly can. Right. And, I mean, I think, uh, is, and also, is it easy? Now, I mean, like, is it like like a PC where you can just swap out the back of it, plug it right back in? And I then, yeah, I don't know. This isn't something new either. I mean, these are, this is, I think we talked about this in the Checkpoint podcast, but. I mean, the 64 has been doing it. Either the 64, the, <laughs> Sega, the Sega Genesis, right? The, yep. the bottom of the Nintendo GameCube. Yeah. They all had these little attachments on the bottom mm -hmm. of the consoles where you could upgrade the console. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. And as you mentioned, the the pace of technology growing is just yeah. it's hard oh, to keep up with it right. increases more and more every day so so you know you don't have the the pc gamer saying hey we're the master race because we can <laughs> you know keep our stuff better looking than yours what they do so what well now yeah. they're trying to maybe that concept is what they're going after but sure. you know hopefully it doesn't uh like i said make people mad because they got to shell out money but if they start getting into where if you don't buy this you can't play the game in this that's way. another uh, issue yeah. yeah that's what i'm saying though yeah. as long as they keep going with what the idea is right now is every game will still work on all versions of the xbox i think they're safe Gold. yeah you yeah. know because yeah. there are people like you said that want to have the newest thing like yeah there's people that buy new cell game. phones every year because they want the newest right phone. It's galaxy 7 this. anyway uh, <laughs> uh we're gonna talk about nintendo land right after this It's hey, <laughs> welcome back. Uh, we're talking about, uh, we just got to talk about upgradable consoles, and now we're going to be talking about Nintendo Land. And I know what you're thinking. <laughs> why? Ages ago. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, and once again, you're watching Listen to Press Start TV. My name's Will. This is Nine. Yo. This is Dr. Joey G. Hey. So, Nintendo Land. Um, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. N N Nintendo Land, Nintendo, Nintendo Land is, is going to be making an actual Nintendo Land. Yes, that's right. <laughs> you heard me correctly. An that's actual awesome. Nintendo Land in Japan, in Tokyo. Right, of course, we we'll start um, there. Yeah, and and this is kind of like a theme park. More oh, or less, yeah. right? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's a theme park. So for those it's of you Mario who played Nintendo yeah. Land, you, you walk into the Nintendo Land game, and I was like, man, that would be really cool to do this in real life, actually. <laughs> Here we go. Gotta go. say. And now they're kind of doing something similar. Yeah. yeah. Leave it to Nintendo to do something like this. I, but Destiny's I, been doing it for years. It, I, I'm super excited. And Disney's successful, right? <laughs> yeah, that's just the last time I checked. They've got like okay. 16 so, parks so they got that, that whole franchise over there now. and you know. Yeah, this guy right here. They're doing all right. They're doing all right. And they, you know, own Marvel. Another small franchise. What do you think yeah. about this? I, I, yeah, well, just you know, just yeah. name a few. Just not, yeah, throw a couple in there. <laughs> I, this is cool. This is. I think it's something that's long past due, to be honest. I have uh, thought about. You've had Harry Potter World. <laughs> I have thought about which is cool. Land yeah. Theme park since I was a little kid. Yes. Why? Who? So. Who has it? If you've ever played Nintendo, and Nintendo's capitalizing where maybe Sony isn't, maybe where you know Microsoft isn't yet. Maybe they'll get there. Uh, but it, Nintendo's <sighs> recognizing that this is an entertainment industry. And they're kind of trying to get the whole encompassing experience here. You know, that's yeah. a good point. I, but, you know, it is are those characters on the same scale as your Mario and the no. ten other? You know what I mean? It's Mario like, is a well, globally the, like recognized name for now. It's got longevity. Look how much it's longer true. Nintendo's been around it's true. than these other for consoles. It. I mean, Mario's been around since the '80s. Yep. You know, he, I just figured it out. I figured it out. <laughs> Everyone, <laughs> internet. I just just on me just oh, now. Lord. So. We started, you know, most gamers and games in general started really taking off with what? Can we all agree on what? What? When the video game. Okay. Mario. The, the, yeah. The Mario, Super Mario Brothers. Super Mario. Yeah. yeah. I, the Atari, pioneer of Atari the was pioneer. great. Until E.T. <laughs> right. Which sold more copies than Space Invaders. They also buried more copies of that than That's Space Invaders. That's right. Oh, absolutely. Um, 
So, so yeah, I mean, Atari was great, but it really video games really started like coming in the forefront with the NES and Super Mario Bros. Yep. Right? Absolutely. Yep. Okay. No question. And how old were people when? Because it was a toy, right? It was a it kids was. thing, I was, more or less. I was just born the year Mario came to the home. System. So here so we yeah. all are. Fast forward thirty, 30 some years. Odd years. Guess who's gonna go to these parks? <laughs> Guess who's got the jobs and the money the 30, now? The thirty, the thirty, and thirty-five. And the kids. Year old. I know. They're bringing the kids. Out. So, yep. so Mario and company had the longevity, right? They've yeah. had that history. They have had the beloved fan base yeah. mm-hmm. being loyal and following them. That's what happens. I mean, I know <laughs> it's a revelation to me anyway. But anyway, so Nintendo Land, I mean, uh, you, you mentioned, uh, we were talking earlier about this, but uh, to coincide with the 2020 Olympics in Tokyo, right? So, so this is an intentional thing, or oh, I mean, certainly, yeah. This is this is huge. There's I mean, going to be twice as many people in Tokyo that year, at least. Yeah, at least. I mean, it's you know, a, a global Olympics. phenomenon that it rivals only maybe the World Cup is the only other time where maybe right. this many people going to one location. Sports will do that, and when you throw something that's as popular as video games and Mario, and you make it a theme park that are already popular, I think it's going to be part of Universal <laughs> Studios. I don't think you're going to be able to get into Japan in 2020. <laughs> <laughs> like, which is which is a great problem to have for these yeah. people. Yeah, yeah no, right? I agree with that. <laughs> We're you're watching, listening to Press Start TV. My name's Will. This is Nine. This is yep. Doctor Joe hey. G. We're talking about Nintendo Land, yeah. actual Nintendo Land. What can we expect at this park? The, okay, this is what Uh-oh. I wanted to talk about. <laughs> All right, this park needs two things for me to get over there. Okay. One, it needs to have an obstacle course of World One One through One Three. Awesome. Oh as, as, as a thing to do. Yeah. Like totally breaking agree. bricks yeah. and getting Sold. like carry Indeed. stuff. It yeah. needs that. Yeah. The second thing it needs is Mario Kart bumper. Gotta have cars. Mario Kart. Mario Kart. It has to be on Mario a track. Kart. Right. Not just like in a little like, you know, arena like typical bumper no. cars. No, it needs to be it's like, like go karts on yeah. Rainbow Road. Sure. The track. <laughs> Yeah. Well, Maybe not Rainbow Road, road but yeah, with, side, with side guards, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Don't worry about that one. It's part of the You can get the, the shortcut if you hit the wall hard enough. <laughs> hey, Jimmy, give me a boost. <laughs> what are it these needs, mushrooms It needs do? those two things. Like, don't eat the mushrooms. That's what it needs for me to get over there to do it. If it doesn't have those two things, I don't even I mean, care. What else do you do? I mean, yeah, an Ar- Zelda archery, like Link thing, that would be cool. That would be cool. Some, some kind um, of but I think they're going to do... duck hunting? I don't know. <laughs> they'll probably do a lot more like what Disney does with like... Like Mario themed shows and rides. you know Mario themed rides. Roller you know, coaster like, that has it, Mario on it. Yeah, right. you'll, you'll so sit maybe in like a, a a tube car. Yeah. I think the 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 level idea, uh, the obstacle the course, obstacle course that is a good idea. Awesome. But I would I a roller I coaster. So want to do a lot. Of a roller coaster version. ride through those worlds as well right. might yeah. be something they would do. Yeah. And then you'll get like a a, a duck hunt like skeet shoot kind of game. Yeah. I mean, name all the care. I mean, there, there's they've got a lot of options. That's for Pokemon. sure. Pokemon. Yeah, they, oh they do have the options. Oh my lord! There'll be a <laughs> Pokemon, whole Pokemon sure. park inside of this thing. <laughs> park in a park in a park. They're like there'll be specific Pokemon is, is you it, can only get on the Pokemon Go app. Is that just Nintendo like Land. some sort of a porcupine painted, or what is that? <laughs> <laughs> it's an actual Pokemon. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah they're sure. genetically engineered cats to look like but, Pikachu. But, <laughs> <right>. <laughs> Detective Pikachu will be walking around. Oh my, oh, hey, that's everybody. still so creepy. <laughs> Have you seen that yet? No. Yeah, there's a Detective Pikachu and he's got a voice now. Oh, really? And it's a deep, Instead deep of voice. Pika, Pika, it's, hey, hey what's where'd you on? get those? <laughs> Why wouldn't he have a deep voice? Yes. <laughs> Why did this guy stab him in the back? <clears throat> I think we should go check this out. <laughs> anyway, Nintendo Land, and hopefully, you mentioned Universal Studios. Is this going to be, are they going to bring it to them? Universal? Yeah, I believe it is part of Universal. Universal is kind of is over there already, which is why they're thinking of bringing it to Florida okay. as well. So they're going to do it in Japan awesome, first. Uh, really and up. then eventually yeah. we'll really come on to Florida. Oh, no. Japan. Yeah, it's a little to easier to get to Florida than yeah. Japan from here. <laughs> yeah, Especially yeah. in 2020. You don't want to go there. No. Somewhere I don't like crowds of people. <laughs> yeah. I that many people. I'd stay clear of Japan in 2020 then. Absolutely. <laughs> so there you go. Are you going to go to Nintendo Land? I don't know. Check it out. It's going to be interesting to see how it all comes together. When we get back, we're going to talk about the future of What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Uh, we just got done talking about Nintendo Land. Woo! That's yeah, that was cool. Nintendo Land. Go. Make it happen. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, now we're going to talk about the future of video games. And once again, you're watching and listening to Press Start TV. My name's Will. This is Nine. Yep. This is Dr. Joey G. Hey. The future of gaming. What a very broad subject. Yeah. 
Let's first, in a, in a million mile an hour snapshot, talk about where we came from. I mean, the guy had some vacuums and he created Pong, <laughs> uh, entered the Atari, we moved up to the Nintendo after that, then fast forward 8 bit, 16 bit, I think it was a 32 bit, 32, yeah, yeah, sure, 64, 64 was 32 bit, 128, uh, whatever they are up to now. So, we don't you count know, bits anymore. Bit, yeah. Nintendo <laughs> and Sega and. PlayStation and the Neo Geo, the Turbo Graphics, everybody else in between. Jaguar, Panasonic, yeah, yeah the Jaguar one. Yeah. That was even Turbo a bad graphics. idea. Mm -hmm. Turbo Graphics, yeah, the <laughs> Famicom, the Fairchild, remember that thing? Um, anyway, all kinds of stuff. Now here we are, Microsoft, uh, Sony, Nintendo, and three. maybe uh, some other people, but you know, where do we go from here? I mean, we, we've come so far in that short period of time. You know, and let's, gosh, I mean, you know, we're, we're 30 years 30 in. 30 years. 30 years in. What's let's, the next 30? Let's, let's look be? to the next, the, 30, next 30. Exactly. Let's just keep it that nice, even 30. Yeah. Okay. So, first nine, I'll, I'll, what, are you, what are your hopes? What are your, what are your dreams? What are you thinking <laughs> that the future of gaming holds for you? The number one thing that I want to see in the future of gaming is everybody gaming together across all platforms. So PC, okay. Nintendo, hmm. Super, uh, Sony, and Microsoft. One game, let's say like, we'll call it Call of Duty, because it's the biggest like, sure. you know, multiplayer sure. competitor on consoles. I want everybody on all those consoles to be able to play together. That's what I want, yeah. because gaming is so supposed to bring people together. So you still have your separate consoles. Together. Right. Mm -hmm. I can have but my you can PS, still play in the same your match. Right. I can experience. have my PS9 or 10 or 11 or whatever. <laughs> PS9, Exactly. Yeah. Remember those commercials? <laughs> yeah. Remember those commercials? Um, and then the Xbox, whatever, and Nintendo, whatever cockamamie name they come up sure. with. Sure. Um, all playing games together, because that's Nintendo what gaming Kakamimi. is about, is bringing people together and having fun. Online, but yeah. I feel, yeah. I, I well, think even, even, I mean, back in the day, Goldeneye. Oh yeah, Mario Kart, Smash, but so, all those games brought people together we, to play games. Will still not Sony, Microsoft, Nintendo still want their exclusives? Or you know, I'm sure they will. Yeah. You know I mean? I'm sure ex exclusives are going to be here till the end of yeah, time. Sure, like okay, that, right. that's that's a definitive thing. What else? Anything else? Um, I really want VR to work. Yeah, like I really you get thirty really years. It, it, you can hit thirty years. It might. I, I really want VR to be. <laughs> we're on a good forefront. Yeah. as it is, yeah. Oculus, uh, PlayStation VR, and the all the Not other ones that are coming out right. are looking really, really solid yeah. for a good ground base to work with. Well, um, again, we're going to talk about we're talking about the future of gaming. Uh, you're watching Listen to Press Start TV. My name is Will. This is Nine. It's Dr. Yep. Joe G. Hey. Dr. Joe G. I'll throw it to you. What are your thoughts on this? I know you talk about this a lot. So yeah, well, lay it on us. Well, I think eventually we'll see. <laughs> Um, video game amusement parks. Oh wait, we are going to see that. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. Twenty twenty. Right. Yeah, okay. So that's going to happen already. Fantastic. No, I think I think virtual reality is like the way to go, and I think it's going to start with the augmented reality. I think we're already starting to get there a little bit. You know, virtual reality has been the high pie in the sky for the last twenty years. It seems like it's been done and failed and done. Yeah, and, failed, and I just done, and like you said, I hope it works. I hope it takes, and I hope it takes to the point that the average consumer can actually have it in their house. So technology is finally yeah. caught up with the realization of I, what exactly. VR could be. Yeah. Now the price needs to. Now need the price it. has to come down because a little bit. Have you seen the price in the Vive? Oh, it's ridiculous. It's eight hundred dollars. Exactly. That's yeah. the highest marketed VR system out there so, right now. So talk about augmented reality. So with augmented reality, you know, it's. <sighs> How to, how to put it simply? <laughs> taking taking your already reality and, and incorporating video game elements into it. Yeah. Um, and done a few times. Do you, do yeah. You, and you think VR is like what the next thirty years hold? And then yeah, I think VR is going to have to be the, in the next thirty years. And I, and I think it's getting like I said, we're getting close. We're getting real true close. VR, like Tron true style VR. VR. Exactly. Exactly. We are you're actually immersed into it. And I talk about this in, in my sport classes too, and, and as well as my video game classes, where sports are going and they're going to virtual reality as well. Professional athletes are using VR right now to simulate a real game mm -hmm. right now. So they're scouting a defense, they're, they're going through their play calls and all these their checkoffs through virtual reality, through the Oculus is what they're using. Right. Um, and so it's, it's becoming more commonplace, but again, that's professional sports. A little bit of money in professional sports. Just a little and, bit. Yeah, NFL is only a bit. small franchise. Small one. So again, the average consumer has to be able to get this in their house and appreciate it. Uh, and in the next 30 years, yeah, that's going to happen. It, it, it definitely is going to. In the next three years, maybe not the average consumer. Yeah. Next 30, I think it's certainly. Yeah, I think, I think starting out, it's going to only appeal to like hardcore yeah. gamers who need like every at peripheral so, accessory. Some people, yeah. Kind of like running I, I'm all on yep. set for VR. Like, I'm yeah. ready to rock and roll. I mean, but like I started the, the conversation off with 30 years is a long time. Yeah. yeah. I mean, look where we've come. So I mean, it's like. Know, 
it's hard to, these companies might not even have video games in their industry anymore. Right. We might not even be thinking about or can't even have the conversation of what's going to be available at that, in, you know, 30 too, years from now. PlayStation has only been around since 1997. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Microsoft, but, Xbox yeah, yeah. has only been around since like the early thousands. The 01, yes. Yeah, so is there anything so. different other than VR that you can think of that gaming will hold all those years from now? I mean, what is it? The HoloLens is, Hololens yeah, is an is, idea that's coming out right now. Yeah, it's augmented virtual reality. Exactly. Is what I'm calling it. Yeah. Well, yeah. There's, There's no. All the, throw all these terms together. Yeah. It's 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 a mix mash of both, really, because you have your VR s s type settings yeah. if you're just you know doing it yourself. But then you can also use like tabletops for yeah. augmented reality. Right. And, but that's and change now. the way it's. I mean, that's I mean, essentially now. But right. in the future, it's going to be something where it's downloaded into your brain. Maybe they get these neural. We're going to have like a matrix like style stuff. Yeah, exactly. Well, you get you can plug in the back of your online. Brain. Have you ever mm -mm. check that? check it out? Okay. Because it's right up your alley in this VR <laughs> and augmented reality thing. Yeah. Trust me, it's an anime and it's right up what we're talking about right okay. now. Okay. I mean, I, I don't I don't have much to say on. I mean, I. I it, I can't even wrap my head around. I mean, VR seems like that, but that's because that's now. I mean, right. we're, we're like you said, technology is finally catching up to what it could be. <coughs> but we'll see what the future holds. I think VR is going to be a big part of it. Yeah, I mean, maybe a chip or something like that that well. people it's coded to you <laughs> or I don't know. Who knows? Yeah. So exciting to see predator style wristbands <laughs> yeah. on our arms. Check out all of the content on PressStartTV.com. Thank you so much for joining us today. Until next time, we'll see you.